Alright guys, welcome to your 40th C++ tutorial, and in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a quick break from pointers, and we're going to be covering something called the size of function. Now, the size of function is actually a function that you use a lot when working with pointers, but for this demonstration, just to give you guys an idea of what the size of function does, I don't want to include pointers because that's too much information for one tutorial. So, we're just going to be seeing a simple demonstration of the size of function and then later on we can apply it to pointers but for now let's go ahead and check it out so what the size of function does is it basically determines the size of either an array or maybe a variable or a constant it pretty much determines the size of something in bytes and remember bytes is just the size of memory like four bytes one byte yada 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 so let's go ahead and make a basic variable um I don't know if I taught you guys the char yet but char just is a variable of character type it basically stores a character so let's go ahead and make a variable char and we'll call the variable c and let's go ahead and see how the size of function works so you go ahead and you type size of and then in the parameter you type what do you want to get the size of well let's just go ahead and get the size of this variable right here and then we'll just end that line and that's it you go ahead and run it and it outputs the size of character which is one byte so any character we store in our computer it takes one byte of memory alright simple enough so let's go ahead and make another type of variable like um, an integer variable so how many bytes do integers take up on our computer well if you don't get the same number as me don't worry but because every computer is a little bit different on my computer an integer takes up four bytes of memory so again if you have like a two or eight or maybe you have four same as me uh, you know don't think you're running the program wrong every computer stores memory differently mine says four so anyways we know that a char takes one byte um, an integer takes four bytes and now let's go ahead and see double well we already know an integer can store numbers without a decimal point and those take up four bytes a double is pretty much a more precise integer so that's why whenever we run this we're expecting to see eight bytes or something higher than four and the reason that doubles take up more memory than integers is because they're more precise so anyways what I want to stress is the more precise a value is the more memory it needs to take up so that's all I wanted to stress and now let's jump into something else instead of G these basic data types let's say we had something like an array now you know an array is basically like 10 integers strung together or you know maybe 15 double strung together so let's go ahead and make a double array and we'll call it Bucky and it can store 10 doubles now remember a double took up 8 bytes on my computer so we have an array of Bucky and it has 10 doubles we're expecting to see 10 times 8 bytes so this entire array should take up 80 bytes of memory so let's go ahead and see if our prediction is right size of Bucky you go ahead and just write the name of the array in there and then go ahead and end line not Ned line and line there we go so now whenever you run it check it out 80 bytes right there and that is because each double is 8 bytes and we're gonna store 10 of them so that's why this entire array took up 80 bytes of memory simple enough but you're saying alright so I know what the size of function does but why would I ever need to know you know the size of bytes I mean that's the computers operating systems problem I really am just a programmer I don't have to worry about memory that much well one um, useful way you can use this function right now before I you know jump into pointers and all that stuff is maybe you want to find out how many elements are in an array so you know maybe you had the user make an array or something and you don't know how many elements it had and you needed to know how many elements this array had in order to make a calculation well of course we know that this array has 10 elements but say we we're trying to figure it out anyways something you can do is this see out what you can do is get the size of Bucky remember this would give you the 80 bytes this is the entire size of your array 80 bytes and what you do is divide it by the size of one element and to do that just go ahead and write size of Bucky 0 which is the first element 
and then whenever you print it out in line you should get 10 so let's go ahead here's the 80 before and now we get 10 which means 10 elements in our array and again why did this happen what we did is we took the entire size of our array Bucky which was 80 bytes and we divided it by one element size which was 8 so 80 bytes divided by 8 bytes gives us 10 elements so again anytime you want to get the number of elements in your array say you, you know couldn't see that line for some reason take the entire size of your array and divide it by the size of one element and your answer is how many elements you get in your array so again here is a basic example of the size of again all we did is find the size of different uh, you know data types arrays variables yada yada but later on we're going to be using this to work with pointers and it's actually a lot more useful than just finding how many elements are in your array so you know now you guys know the size of now whenever I teach it later on you won't get confused so for now thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video